Hello, and welcome to week 18 and 19 of my devlog. I've been working on some stuff, and the biggest thing I've been working on is I have a new logo. So the last logo, which you would have seen in some of the ends of the uh, devlogs, uh, was a logo I whooped together pretty quickly. I wanted to make something simpler that uh, had some nautical themes to it and was pretty flat and easy to uh, see on Twitter or anywhere else I put the logo up. So as the logo is, I also threw it into a... Uh, into Blender and, and extruded it. So if you go up to it, you can see there's some edges on it and uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I'll still probably be working on it, but this is the, the general gist of it and you'll see another version of it at the end of the devlog. The other thing that I've been working on is uh, switches and toggles. So one thing about this game is I don't want to have menus at all. I want to have the player go in and like actually physically switch things on and off. So one thing I did is I made a new uh, toggle button. So switch it back and forth, and release it at a certain place, and it snaps. Um, so it's really uh, easy to do. Now, unlike smaller toggles in real life, this is going to be pretty big because um, with the controllers, you don't have a lot of uh, control realistically. Like, it's just a lot bigger. Um, so all these toggles will be big and uh, small. Now, the other thing is I'm going to be using icons as opposed to words to describe and show off what people are doing. So hopefully you can understand this, but if I'm in this mode, I'm in single player. If I switch it over to there, it's gonna reload and go into multiplayer. I'll still probably have to add some sort of bar because multiplayer is an instant and also doing this back and forth could cause some problems um, in the game. Those are the two things I've worked on in uh, the game uh, in the last couple weeks. And I'm also going to jump out and talk about some other things. Hey, so I actually wanted to start off and come clean. Last devlog, I said that I wouldn't put out a devlog, and that's actually because I was in New York for a friend's wedding. Um, so as you might have seen in uh, some of my previous devlogs, I mentioned that my place had gotten broken into uh, on December 7th. Um, so I didn't really want to mention it on a, a devlog in case someone had figured out where I live and would come in and steal all my VR stuff. So I just made a little fib, and but now I'm back uh, for good, and I'll be working on uh, some new features. The uh, secret feature that I mentioned in my last devlog is true. I am going to put that out, but uh, I haven't actually started on it yet. Um, I will give like very cryptic updates as I am working through that, but uh, I'm back for good. I'll be in my, my town for the foreseeable future, and I'm working on this 100% of the time. So another thing I wanted to talk about was that room that you saw at the start of the devlog. That's going to be a room of full of settings. Now, the settings will be local to your machine, other people can go in there and play with their settings on their computer and you'll see them in there. But the idea is that room is gonna be a place that you can go in and set up a bunch of things. So there will be settings for shadows, I think, because um, you can turn them all the way off or all the way on and they're quite uh, processor intensive. Um, but for example, you saw you can switch between multiplayer and single player. So if there's a, another player in that room and then you switch to single player, that player will disappear and your uh, world be, will be reset to, uh, to only playing uh, offline with yourself. Um, some other things are going to be in there, maybe uh, how detailed the ropes are, because I can crank the detail up on a rope, and uh, but it'll take a lot more processing power. Um, I'm running this game on a bare minimum, the uh, i5 uh, 6600K, and I've got a 970 in here, so I'm aiming for the low end, but I want to give people the options to go up into the high end. Um, yeah, so anyways, all the rest of the uh, sort of um, settings will be similar toggles or cranks um, so you really get a feeling of if you want to upgrade or change the settings you get to jump in and uh, have a really uh, physical feel to updating them the last thing that I wanted to talk about was the testing that went on almost two months ago uh, with the game so I got the game to a build where people could play it I think I had talked about this on maybe devlog 12 or 13 and got people playing it uh, that were local friends and it was actually really successful I was uh, more pleased than I thought I would be um, a few things happened. One is that only two people out of like nine people got sick and they were traditionally, they would get VR sickness from other games. So that was a really high percentage. Um, the game is a sailing game and seasickness is a real affection for a lot of people. Um, so I had a feeling that some people would be affected by it, uh, but lower than I expected. So I was really happy about that. The other really cool thing is that my friend also, he had never been sailing before. He sort of knew the basics about sailing, but he was able to sail all the way up wind um, very, very far. Uh, it took him forever because the boat's quite slow, but he was actually able to figure out how to tack and uh, all just looking at the, the, um, the, uh, the wind on the sail 
um, which is pretty cool. And people got to play around um, and like they were ramming the boat into the shore, getting out and walking around, getting back on the boat and uh, sailing other places. It was really successful. Uh, definitely showed off a few things I need to work on. One of them was everyone was grabbing basically the rope right at the end and moving it around. So I'm going to be adding uh, cleats at some point so you can put a cleat into uh, for the line to go down. Um, so then you actually like cranking it in like in real life as opposed to just holding the rope and pushing it around wherever you want. But anyways, really happy about that. And uh, yeah, and so the next steps now is I'm going to keep working on the ropes and um, the uh, the sailing physics. And I had mentioned last week or last devlog week uh, that I'm going to be adding a secret feature. That wasn't a lie. That is actually true. Um, I'm going to be adding a feature that's going to be pretty sweet, uh, but I'm not going to advertise it at all. I haven't started on it yet, but I will be soon. And uh, yeah, once I... Uh, once I start working on that, you'll probably get some really short devlog updates, but uh, the uh, the surprise will be well worth it. So that's it for the uh, two week devlog. I'll probably be back next. Uh, I'll probably be back next week, and uh, thanks a lot. Bye.